In a future world, robots look like people. They are called androids. Some androids run away from their jobs. Rick is a man who finds and stops these androids. He lives in a big city. Rick wakes up in his small apartment. The world outside is quiet and gray. Most animals are gone. People love having electric animals. They show status. Rick has a fake sheep on his roof. Rick goes to work. His job is important. Androids can be dangerous. They are smart and look like humans. But they do not have feelings. Rick must find them and make sure they are safe. Rick's boss gives him a new mission. Six androids are hiding in the city. They are very advanced. Rick must find them quickly. He feels worried but ready. He starts to plan. Rick visits a special shop. He needs a tool to test if someone is an android. The tool measures emotions. Androids have less emotions than humans. Rick learns how to use it. He is prepared. Rick's first clue leads him to a tall building. He goes inside. It is quiet. He finds an android pretending to be human. They talk. Rick uses his tool. The android fails the test. The android attacks Rick. It is strong and fast. But Rick is trained. He fights back. The fight is hard. But Rick wins. He stops the android. Five more to go. Rick feels sad after the fight. Even though androids are not human, they look and act like them. He wonders about his job. Is it right? He shakes his head and continues. Rick's next clue is a woman named Rachel. She works for the company that makes androids. Rick meets her. He tests her emotions. She is human, but she knows much about androids. Rachel helps Rick. She knows how androids think. They plan together. Rick learns from her. He starts to like her. She is smart and understands his job. They become a good team. They find another android hiding as an artist. He makes beautiful paintings. Rick is surprised. Can androids create art? They confront him. The artist is sad but dangerous. Rick must act fast. The artist android tries to escape. Rick and Rachel chase him. The chase is long and hard, but they catch him. Rick does his job. He feels more confused about androids and art. Rick and Rachel take a break. They talk about life and androids. Rachel has seen many hunters like Rick. She tells him about the loneliness of androids. Rick listens and thinks deeply. Night falls. The city lights up. Rick and Rachel continue their mission. They find two more androids together. They pretend to be a couple. Rick feels sorry for them. They want to live. The couple fights back. They are desperate. Rick and Rachel work together. The fight is tough. In the end, Rick stops them. Only two androids left. Rick feels tired and sad. Rick questions his feelings. Are androids just machines? They seem to want life. Rachel sees Rick's struggle. 
She tries to comfort him. They are close now. Rick feels something for her. Morning comes. Rick is ready to finish his mission. He and Rachel find the last two androids. They are hiding in a place full of old things. Rick prepares for the final confrontation. The last fight is intense. The androids are smart. They set traps. Rick and Rachel are careful. They move through the old place. They find the androids. The battle begins. The fight is hard. Everything is chaotic. But Rick and Rachel are a good team. They stop the androids. Rick's mission is done. He feels relieved, but also empty. What now? Rick returns home. He looks at his electric sheep. It is not real. He feels the fake grass. Everything feels empty. He did his job, but he is not happy. Rick thinks about the day. He met androids that seemed alive. They had desires and fears. Rick feels confused. Are androids so different from humans? He sits and thinks. Rachel comes to see Rick. They talk about the mission. Rick shares his feelings. He is unsure about his job. Rachel listens. She understands. She has seen this before. Rick and Rachel look at the stars. The world is quiet. They feel close. Rick wonders about life and machines. Rachel holds his hand. They find comfort in each other. Rick decides to take a break. He needs time to think. He will not hunt androids for a while. He wants to understand his feelings. Rachel agrees to stay with him. Rick and Rachel spend days together. They talk, laugh, and share stories. Rick learns about androids. He sees they are complex. His view changes. He sees the world differently. One day, Rick finds a real animal. It is a small bird. He is surprised and happy. Life is returning. He shows Rachel. They feel hope. Maybe the world can heal. Rick takes care of the bird. He feels alive. He sees beauty in life. Rachel watches him. She sees the change in Rick. They grow closer. Life seems better. Rick decides not to return to his old job. He wants to help the world heal. He will work for life, not against it. Rachel supports him. They start a new journey together. They travel to find more life. They see new places. The world is changing. There are challenges, but also beauty. Rick and Rachel find joy in their journey. They are hopeful. Along the way, they meet others. Some are like Rick, questioning their past. They talk and learn from each other. A community grows. They work together for a better future. Years pass. The world is different. Life is everywhere. Rick and Rachel help change it. They are happy. They look back and see how far they have come. They made a difference. Rick thinks about the androids. They were part of his journey. He understands them now. They were seeking life like everyone. He respects them. He feels peace. 
Rick and Rachel grow old together. They have seen the world change. They were part of it. They share a deep love. They have lived a full life with joy and sadness. Rick looks at the sky. He remembers everything. He knows life is precious. Androids, humans, animals, all seeking to live. He has lived a life full of meaning. He is content.